Hello everyone, my name is Natubugo Norma Sylvia. Today, we'll be looking into a type of communication system called broadcasting. By the end of the lesson, the student should be able to define broadcasting, list and explain types of broadcasting, distinguish between the different types of broadcasting. Introduction Broadcasting is a form of communication that distributes audio or audiovisual contents to a dispersed audience in a one-to-many model through electronic mass medium such as radio and television. One-to-many model means that in a particular radio station something is aired. This particular thing that is aired is just aired from one place and then to many means different people receiving this particular signal, this particular information that is aired from one radio station. Broadcasting can be audio, which is coming from the uh, radio broadcasting system, or audiovisual, which is the one coming from television system. Types of broadcasting. We have the radio broadcasting, the television broadcasting, the satellite television system, and webcasting. Now let's look into the first type of broadcasting, which is the radio broadcasting. This is the use of Radio waves to transmit audio information from a transmitter to a receiving antenna. It comprises of the amplitude modulation, which is the AM, the frequency modulation, which is the FM, and HD radio technology. Then the second one we'll look into is the television broadcasting. I hope you're following my class. This can also be called a telecast broadcasting. It is the transmission of audio and video signal over the wave from an earth-based transmitter of a television station to the receiver or antenna of a television station. The disadvantage of television broadcasting is that it can be affected by obstacles such as earth and weather. Then the other type of broadcasting system we have is the satellite television system. This is a television service delivered by the means of communication satellite and received by a satellite dish and set base, set up base. Looking closely at, at the diagram, you will find out a dish and a signal which goes up, showing you that in satellite television system, signals come directly from the sky. So unlike that of television station, it have some advantages one is that it's not being it doesn't have any obstacle because it comes directly from the sky then apart from not uh, having obstacle it has high quality video and audio output and also it enables customers to have access to movies sporting events religious activities and news across the world so it has more advantage over that um, television broadcasting the last one we have is webcasting. This is the process of broadcasting over the internet. It is a live or on-demand presentation presented on the internet. On the internet, you can follow a broadcasting that is live. That as it's going on immediately, you're following it that particular moment. Or the one that has been broadcasted earlier on, you can just come online, log in and um, follow a presentation. That has happened before evaluation let's look into what we've done before now summary broadcasting is defined as one-way communication of audio and or video information through electronic medium remember that audio comes only from radio station that's radio broadcasting why audio and video comes from television broadcasting and satellite television system in types of broadcasting, we have radio, television, satellite television system, and webcasting. Assignment. Distinguish between radio and television broadcasting. State advantages of satellite television system over television broadcasting. What do you understand by webcasting? Which communication system is opposite? to broadcasting. 
Thanks for listening. Should you have any question, don't hesitate to drop your questions.